hooked up on a new bait here, guys. It's called the Big Stick. It's a giant plastic worm. Developed is specifically for big trout. So we'll see what we got here. It's heavy, whatever it is. It was right up on the bank. I've still not seen the fish. See my bead pulling drag. He's not that big. He's a nice fish though. He's pretty nice. Howdy guys, I'm Kel Kellogg and I want to talk trout fishing strategy, trout trolling strategy for the fall and winter months. All too often I see guys making the same mistake over and over and over again. I'm watching very closely where I'm going here because I'm structure trolling. The trout, they're up near the bank. I've got the boat in very shallow water. Right now I'm in 15 feet of water. It's getting shallower. And I've got two lines out. Um, the one on the port side is down about 10 feet. The one on the starboard side is down about eight, pulling a couple soft plastics right now. Um, too often I'll see guys in big fancy aluminum sleds that have a couple fancy, you know, electric downriggers, just like the mag tens I have here. They might even have four downriggers on their boat. But every time they go trout fishing, just because they have those downriggers, they're bound and determined to get out over deep water, find some deep marks, very often in the fall and winter, they're finding fish that are inactive and they're gonna use those downriggers no matter what. They don't experiment with lead core. They don't experiment with top lining. They're out there, they're over the channel and they're fishing deep. And at the end of the day, they don't have very much to show for their efforts because again, they're targeting inactive fish. I've said this before on the channel. Here's what happens in the fall. First move the trout make is up up near the surface. Now there's probably trout all over on the surface out here at this time. I've got 56 degree water. Um, it was 61 degrees two weeks ago. But the first move they make is up. The next move they make is into the bank because that's where the bait goes. Collins Lake has come up 10 feet over the past two weeks. There is a ton of food up in these coves. It's also the part of the lake that is warming the fastest. Guess what? There's beetles, worms, ants, all kinds of stuff for the trout to eat up there. And there's also all kinds of stuff for the bait fish to eat up there because that is where the, uh, the nutrients are popping in the lake right now. Those are the areas that are warming the most in the afternoons. That's where the bait is gravitating and the trout are following the bait. The trout are up there in, well, I just saw one break right there. The trout are up there in two, three, four, five feet of water at times, maybe shallower. Excellent time to beach your boat and bank fish. Absolutely excellent time to beach your boat, walk along and fan cast. But if you wanna troll, the best strategy isn't to troll back and forth over the deepest part of the lake with your downriggers down. You wanna get your boat into shallow water. You wanna get out your hybrid lead core rigs. You want to get out your top lining gear. You want to get in there tight. You want to aggressively maneuver the boat. Now, I caught a fish here about an hour ago. It's a big, I'll show you. Let me turn the camera. There's a big bluff point over here, out off that end. It's going to get, get real shallow right out there. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to swing the boat in towards that structure. I'm in 20 feet of water right now. I just turned on the, the bow mount trolling motor. I'm going to sweep in towards it and then I'm gonna bounce right on around the end of that point. Now, last time I passed through here, there was a trout off the end of this point looking to feed. He jumped all over a trigger minnow, fish on. I was a happy fisherman. But that's the best strategy during the fall and winter. Those trout are looking to move up tight. They're looking to feed near the shoreline and you need to be able to present your bait in that hot zone. 
if you troll around out here in the middle, you're gonna pick up an occasion, it got hit right there. If you troll around out here in the middle, you're gonna pick up the occasional fish, but you're not gonna have a killer day. You get up here in these shallows, in these coves, work these small points, you're gonna have much better success. I'm doing the best of anybody I've talked to today. I've had six or seven bites. I've landed five or six fish. Um, it's been a good day overall. So remember, fall to winter transition, you wanna get up and troll shallow. It can be intimidating, the water can be shallow. I was in four feet of water today in the back of a bay, but when I turned out, I hooked a big lightning trout in about five feet of water. So anyway, just a, a, a strategy tip that's kind of an upper level tip, but if you follow that advice, if you get in trolling off the banks, off the points in the coves this fall, you're gonna do a lot better than guys that are out trolling in open water, and you're gonna do way better than the guys that insist on going out here and fishing 30, 40 feet deep with their downriggers. If you're looking for trout gear, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com. You'll find my hybrid lead core rods and more. And if you wanna get out on the water and learn my secrets to trout fishing success firsthand on the water, check out our guiding calendar. We have availability. I'm gonna be out here all winter and spring. Come out and fish with me. It will help you catch more and bigger fish throughout your trout fishing career. I guarantee it. I'm Kel Kellogg. Thanks a lot, guys.